<laughs> I am ready to go ahead and create this ice cream scooter art with you. Can you make sure and put your hand on your piece of A3 art paper that is ready to go? I am doing all my outlines in a permanent Sharpie marker. So go ahead, hold this one up to me. We want to make sure it is a permanent Sharpie. Fantastic. We are only just starting with our art supplies, so that is great. No one has missed anything. Now we are going to color in our Sharpie marker. Um, uh, not, our, not our Sharpie marker. We're going to color in and do our designs with colored markers and crayons. Can I take a look at those? Crayons, colored markers. If you have them, you are ready. Okay. And finally, the background, we're going to use watercolor paints. I have this collection of fluoro paint discs, which are kind of just the best colors. So I'm going to be using those. If you have watercolors, that's what you can use for the background. And I've got a medium round paintbrush. If you don't have watercolors, you could definitely use crayons in the background as well. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you are ready to go ahead and start our drawing. We are recording this for everyone who missed it. I am ready. So let's grab our Sharpie marker and we're going to start at the bottom of our page with our scooter. So just down here at the bottom, what I want you to do is put your fist in the left hand corner. I'm going to draw a circle for the wheel. And I would like it to be a little smaller than your fist, but not too small. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to draw a circle. And you know what? It's wonky because I'm not tracing it. So one circle for the wheel. If I put my fist over the top, it's roughly the size of my fist or a little smaller. Then you can move across to the other side of the page on the right hand side and draw another wheel, another circle. And you know what, here's a good tip. If you want to try and make it in line, just put your marker on your page and try and get them in line with each other. But I reckon you can kind of tell already mine are not in line, but I don't mind. Once we have two wheels, let's draw a line in between. Just a straight one. There we go. We have the bottom of our scooter and we're going to work our way up. So the next line is this one. I'm going to draw a curved line over the wheel. And I, I think it is like a wheel bump or a wheel hump. I'm not sure what part of the scooter it's called, but it looks like this. Watch me. I'm going on my left hand wheel. I'm going to go straight up, curve over that wheel, down and touch the bottom line of my scooter. And that is kind of fun because we can color it and add patterns. Now I'm going to get you to hold up your scooters, but not yet. If you've just joined, we have just done two wheels, a line in between and this curved line over the wheel. Here I go. Let's use it. Um, I'm not going to use my finger yet. I'm going to go, draw a line like this. Starting here, I'm going to do an L shape. I'm going to go straight up, straight across. So it's like an upside down L. And you can see that that line kind of extends a little bit longer than the one we just drew. Now I'm going to get my finger. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Okay. Here's my finger. I just always like to plan it out. So I'm starting with my finger here, and this is the line I'm drawing, just there. So here I go, I'm gonna go down, curve around, come up over the wheel. So I plan it with my finger, now I can use my marker. I'm gonna go down, curve up from my dip, go over the wheel and finish. Do you reckon you could grab that line, put it on your page? Levi's giving you the thumbs up. He's pretty good. Good job, Rose. I can see Isabel's great too. 
Okay, if you want to use your finger for the next bit, it goes like this. I'm starting in the middle of the dip. I'm going to go up, 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 across, and down back to the wheel. So if I start here, I'm going to go up, 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 across, down back to the wheel. So let's try up, up, up in a bit of a curve, across, and down, connecting back to the wheel. So now I've got the front part of the scooter. You can add a headlight. You could also add some handlebars. So my handlebars are just like a little rectangle, just here. And I have my Sharpie line through that. So I'm just gonna kind of add a few more stripes to it so I can hide that little Sharpie line there. And I'm gonna do a backward C for my headlight. We have scooters, everybody. Can I see them on three? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let me look at these awesome scooters. Are they at the bottom of their page? Are they nice and big? They are fantastic. Um, I am seeing lots of amazing shapes of scooters and some people have put patterns already. Well done. Okay. Thumbs up if you're ready for the ice cream. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat some ice cream. Okay, grab your hand, put it on top of the seat of your scooter, spread it out a tiny bit, and put a little dot above your little finger. Now, this is where the top of the ice cream cone is. So we're going to start with the top of the ice cream cone and work down. So if I've, I've got my hand and I've put a little dot, let's start where that dot is. And I'm going to do a rectangle for the top of the ice cream cone. And you can kind of see it's sitting on top of the little seat of the scooter. So it's pretty wide. I'm doing kind of a fat ice cream cone, I think. Okay, now I'm going to come down from one side of the ice cream cone across. Then I'm going to go back up. And this is, you guessed it, the ice cream cone's head. I bet you know how to finish it off. Do you know? I'm gonna draw one line from one, the left-hand side is coming in a little bit on an angle, connecting to the scooter. I'm gonna draw the other line on the right-hand side all the way down. Whoops, I did a bit of wobbly one, connecting to the scooter. And before we do the ice cream soft serve, we want to put some eyes on. We also want to put legs and arms. Let's do, let's do the little eyes first. So actually, before I do that, you might like to put sunglasses on. Um, what else could you do? Maybe like reading glasses. Maybe he's asleep. You can do kind of any type of little face that you like. And I'm going to put mine towards the right-hand side of his head. So here is a little eye for my ice cream. And I'm just going to color in the little eyeball. He's going to be smiling. And maybe I'm going to make his tongue stick out as well. But if your dad has like a favorite pair of sunnies, that could be fun. I've got his little tongue sticking out. I can see Tabby and Hugo give me a wave. Hello, you two. Great, so good. You could join us. And you know what? We just did the scooter outline and the ice cream. So if you want to even do the ice cream first, and you could do a scooter as if it could even be one without um, big wheels like a motorbike, like a scooter that you ride with your feet. That could work. Can we do some legs, everybody? Um, let's have a look. Here I go. Here are the legs. I'm coming around <laughs> like a little C Don't shape. I'm gonna <laughs> jump, 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 and turn around and come up. So I've got a little leg. And my arm, it's probably not even going to reach the little handlebars for me. 
because they're too far away. So if it doesn't reach, um, it could be holding something. And I am just going to send a message in the group right now to Lisa, who's trying to join. I've joined, but um, can you, I just joined. Wait, what the? Fantastic. No, there's no ID. Hold on, sweetie. There's no ID. Oh, are you talking to Jack? Yeah, so I can see you guys. I can see your screen there, Lisa, but I can't see a video of you. But you can go ahead and unmute yourself and let me know if you like. Oh, hi, Georgie. I'm just trying to get Jack on my laptop. I'm on my phone. Um, do you have the meeting ID so I can join the meeting on my laptop? Okay. Did you did you get the email or no? I did, but my emails don't open on this laptop. Okay. All right. Yep. I posted it now in the chat. Okay. Uh -huh. Technology is fun, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Now, um, just unmute yourself if you have another problem, but I'll mute you and we'll keep going. So, guys, I think we're going to add a few patterns to our ice cream cone and then I'm going to get you to show me. And this is optional, but this is what I like to do. You know how weight, uh, ice cream cones have the crisscross on them? So I think that's kind of fun. Let's go ahead if you want to, and if your ice cream cone is big, I want you to do like a crisscross. So I'm putting lines on a diagonal. Georgie. And then I'm going to put lines back on the other diagonal to do this like crisscross right now. No, you didn't unmute yourself. I did. And Coco and Prue, I'm going to answer your question in just a second. Finish this crisscross here. And you know what? If you want to, Go ahead and put it up the top as well. This is just adding like an extra little detail and pattern that you can kind of go over with your colored markers. Now I'm going to draw one more thing and then I'm going to ask Crew to ask his question. The very last thing that I'm going to draw right now is the ice cream. To hold something. So if you want your little ice cream man to hold something, you could do a lollipop. I'm going to just draw a really long V shape, like an ice cream cone, and it's going to be an ice cream holding an ice cream. You might want to do a milkshake. You might want to do maybe he's holding a book. I think anything you like. So if you want him to hold something, go ahead and pop that in. All right, now I want to ask, where are you, crew? Go ahead and ask your question. I can't do the legs because um, it's not up there. Don't worry about the legs. I reckon he can just be kind of tucked under. I Georgie? think that is totally fine. Georgie? Okay, go ahead, Rebecca. Um, yeah, um, I actually came here a bit late, so I'm still doing the actual uh, bike. So, yeah. Okay. So after the meet, like after everyone leaves, can you maybe stay on for a bit longer so I can look at it? I just can't wait to see your progress. And at the end of the lesson, of course, if you have questions, we can have a look at it. I reckon you can definitely do this little ice cream. If you mm -hmm. take a look, <laughs> go ahead and start that ice cream. You know what, everybody? On three, I want you to show me your ice cream cones on your scooters. And Rebecca, you take a look because you might get some ideas. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's take a look at these ice creams. Wow, oh my goodness. I think it's Ariella Daniel's got two ice creams on theirs. I can see Morley's added heaps of patterns already. I can see some really neat outlines. Lots of you have added the pattern too. I think Hannah or Justin's is holding a lollipop and an ice cream as well. Fantastic, everybody. Okay, we've got to finish this ice cream. It's not an ice cream without sausage or scoops of ice cream. 
And do you know what, Levi, if you have finished the top of the ice cream, you can start coloring him in. Okay. Now let's go ahead. Here we go. My ice cream scoops look like this. I'm going to draw a big bump on the left and then a smaller bump. I'm going to do the same on the right. Big bump on the right and then a smaller bump. So kind of looking fluffy at this point. And then to make it look like a swirl, I'm going to start from my one side. I'm going to go down, up, and join to the other side of my ice cream scoop. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to go down, up, join to the other side of my ice cream scoop. So now they kind of look wavy on top. Now, if you have done that, this is the very last step for our ice cream scoop. I'm going to do a little kind of wavy whip at the top. I'm starting at the top. I'm going to go up, curl it down, come to a point, and then back. So I, I have three kind of layers to my soft serve. And this is where everybody, you can write, if you want to put a message for your dad, you can write something here. Cool, dad. Thank you, dad. I love you, dad. Whatever sort of message you'd like to include in your art. So I think for me, I'm just going to write, I love you, dad. Great work, um, Levi. I can see some patterns on yours already. So here it goes. Here I go, I'm going to write I, so I'm just going to draw a block letter I. So mine's going to say, I love you, dad, but you might want to do cool, dad. For the love, I'm just going to do a love heart. Cool. And I'm going to ask what you think you're going to write in in a minute. I'm going to do a U shape for the U, because I don't think I could fit all the letters for I love you. So I've got, I love you and dad here. And my dad is going to be really big. So a D, I've got an A. And you can write this any way you like. It's just nice to write it really big so it stands out. And then D. Okay. Mine is ready right now for a bit of colour. Is yours ready as well? I yeah. want to see these before we put these colour on. Can I take a look? Three, two, one. How are we looking, everybody? And you guys go ahead and look at everyone else's as well. I am looking through all of them. Heaps of details. I can see cool dads. I can see I love you, Dad's fabulous. Okay, so let's now go ahead with our markers. This is where we want to color in. And I'm going to use like the bold colors um, with my markers. And then I'm coloring everything else with crayons. So let's start on our scooter. I'm using my dark blue. And I'm going to do a circle inside the wheel and just color it in. And maybe this is kind of like the center of the wheel and it has little circles around it like the bolts. If your dad has a favorite color, um, that's where you want to include this. If you know your dad's favorite color, you definitely want to go ahead and include that in your picture because that's a really thoughtful thing to do. Good okay. Dude. Go ahead. Oh, hey, Jack. How are you today? Good. Can you um, paint now? Well, have you got your outline done? Yeah. Have you coloured in your ice cream and your scooter? No. So what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do and you can decide. So I'm going to colour in my scooter with crayons and markers and then I'm going to do the background with paint. But if you want to paint your whole ice cream and scooter... No. You could paint it if you want it. It's up to you. You're the artist, so you guys get to decide. I'm going to use crayons and markers. So I've got my 
little wheel happening. And I think I'm going to go ahead and color in my wheels. These are not normal wheels, everybody. These are crazy, colorful scooter wheels. Mine are going to be bright yellow. So I'm going to color those in. Now I want to check in. Let's see, Kayla and Michael, what color schemes have you thought about for your scooter? What are you thinking? You color it in lightning. Did you say lightning colors? Are you going to put a, like a lightning bolt on yours? That sounds great. And what about you, Kayla? I'm doing light colors too. Light, did you say light colors, like pastel colors? Yeah, or lightning colors. Pastel colors. Okay, I like that idea. Has anybody, does anybody know their dad's favorite color? And is that what you're doing? So let me see, Levi, what's your dad's favorite color? Blue. Blue. So are you including blue in your scooter? I love. Okay. I bet that you are. I bet yeah, you are. Fantastic. Okay. I think now I'm up to this section. This is where we can add some really fun patterns. So if you are with me and you're ready, I know. I think my dad's favorite colors are blue as well, but he also kind of likes summery colors like orange and yellow and red. So I'm going to do some orange polka dots on this part of my wheel. And I might kind of color it in blue with my crayon. So patterns are what we want to include on our scooter. We could do stripes. You could do lightning bolts. You could do stars. You could do crisscross. So including patterns here is a fantastic way to just add extra fun and details. Oh. I think for me, I have stars on this one. And I might go ahead with my dark blue. I'm going to ask you what you guys are doing in a moment. I'm going to do swirls. So I'm starting in the middle, swirling, swirling, swirling on this section of my scooter. Okay, who has got another idea for some patterns? I want to check in with Morley. Can you tell me what colors and patterns you've decided to put on your raft today? Squares, um, triangles that hang from the top, lightning bolts, and stars. Lightning bolts, triangles, and stars. My dad's favorite colors are red and blue. I like the sound of that, Molly. It sounds really detailed as well. Okay, let's check in Grace and Lily. Can you tell me favorite colors for dad and the patterns you've included? My dad's favorite colors green, green. and uh -huh. stars and stripes. That sounds I'm like the Union Jack stars and stripes. I and like that. I'm going to do. Spots and yeah. she's wearing. Um, yeah. Still deciding. Oh, spots sound good, and you could decide as you go. I did spots and swirls, and I can see Levi looks like he's holding up a swirl there too. I'm going to now go ahead and color in this little um top of the wheel rim with my blue crayon. Usually I go straight over the top of my marker, but I'm not going to with this blue crayon because I don't want to cover up my um, orange polka dots. Can you give me a thumbs up if you've done polka dots? Anyone else? Oh, Charlotte, Mackenzie, Austin have all done polka dots. So is Tabby, so is Josie and Hannah and Morley and Ariel. You guys know how much I love polka dots. They're all over my wall. So I pretty much use them all the time. Polka dots are fun. Okay, mine is blue. 
And I think this part needs to be orange. I am doing an orange scooter today. Now let's go ahead. How are you going there, Jack? Do you want to tell me what colors you have decided for your scooter? Well, I haven't really decided on colors. I'm just on red hands. And my dad's favorite color is blue. Do you reckon you can add a bit of blue in there? Yeah, I already have. Oh, good plan. And it sounds like you're doing like a bit of a rainbow color scheme. Yeah. Well, that's a good plan though, Jack. I don't mind that. Random is fine. It just means that you're deciding as you go. Okay, well, mine is orange. And I'm gonna put some stars somewhere in my picture, maybe at the handlebar area. I'm just gonna finish off coloring this in and we'll get up to it. I got the colors of the rainbow. All colors of the rainbow. Does, do you know, do you know the acronym for the rainbow, anybody? For all the colors of the rainbow, do you know the acronym? Starts with R. I can see Red. a few. Red. Red. I can see a few hands up. Red. Okay, Red. I want to go ahead. Let's see whose hands up. Um, I can see. Is it Andre there? You can unmute yourself. You can tell me the acronym for the rainbow if you want. Do you want to unmute yourself and let me know what it is? Oh, that's my color is blue. <laughs> blue is in the acronym. Go ahead, Morley. I saw your hand up. What is the acronym for the colors in the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Did you say Roy G. Biff? Red, orange, yellow, green, green. Blue, In indigo, violet. You're correct. So if you guys look at the rainbow, I'm going to write this down. Been... Can you see the, the letters I'm holding up right now? Can you see Roy G. Biv? That is the acronym for all of the colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So if you're doing rainbow, Try and have all of those colors in there. Okay, here I go with some stars on the top of my scooter. And after I do this, we're gonna go ahead and show our coloring. I know some of you are gonna be super speedy. You might even be up to the ice cream already. So I have red stars and I'm doing yellow crayons over the top. I love the combination of crayons and markers together. They're my favorite. Do you know I don't use color pencils very much at all? I prefer these crayons because they're really beautiful, bright colors. So I've got almost my artwork finished. I'm just going to do some little blue strokes on my handlebars. And I'm going to color in this little headlight. I think I'm going to color in this headlight pink just to mix it up a little bit. Okay. My scooter is yellow, orange, and blue, mostly. I want to know what yours looks like. Let's go ahead on three, three, two, one. Where are these scooters? Wow, everybody. Look at these. And I can see lots of you have jumped up to go ahead with the ice cream cones too. I'm going to start that next. These are looking fantastic. I finished the whole scooter and the ice cream. Oh, now Tabby has done like a blend. Well done, Tabby. Now, if you have been super speedy today and you have finished coloring this bit, this is my challenge to you. You could, before we paint the background, do another artwork and you could put maybe a different suite riding your scooter. You could draw the scooter exactly the same. Maybe it could be a milkshake driving the scooter. You could go ahead and draw that. And then when we're up to the background, we can do it together. Now I am moving on to my ice cream. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up for the ice cream cone. I want just to show you this. 
I'm going to use my marker and I'm going to outline my little ice cream cone with a brown. And I've decided today I'm going to color mine in yellow. Over here it was orange. But I'm going to do all of the little wafer crisscross outlines in brown. And I'm going to color over the top in yellow just so it, these little patterns are really standing out. If you want to outline your ice cream, go ahead and do that now. Even an orange is a kind of fun color. But I saw a few rainbow ice cream cones. <laughs> so maybe your ice cream cone is pink today or maybe it's blue. And while I'm here, I'm going to just color in his little legs and some hands too. Now, if you have finished and I had a suggestion drawing another artwork of like a milkshake or maybe a hot dog or maybe a donut driving a scooter, do you want to give me a thumbs up in the screen if you have decided to do that challenge? I can see Levi has decided to do it. So that's pretty fun. I am, I am going to grab my yellow crayon and I'm going to color in my little ice cream cone. And while I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking about a flavor ice cream to put up here. I have a question. What is your favorite ice cream flavor or your dad's favorite ice cream flavor? Because that might determine what color you use. Can I hear from Orlando? Orlando, go ahead, unmute yourself. I want to hear the favorite flavored ice cream that you have to share. Chocolate. Oh my goodness, classic chocolate. I reckon you and the whole world loved chocolate. Well done. Okay, let's hear another flavor. Has anyone got a crazy flavor? Let's see. Go ahead. I can see Grace and Lily. What's your flavor? Well, Dad's favorite is um, chocolate mint. Huh? And my favorite is bubblegum. Bubblegum. What color is bubblegum ice cream? My favorite color is pink. Okay, so Grace, did you say pink? No. What color? It's like purple. It's a mixture of purple, blue, and pink. Okay, well, you could even do purple, blue, pink if you wanted for your ice cream, if it was bubble gum. Someone said chocolate mint. So that's like green with little chocolate chips. Okay, I want to ask Rose, what's the ice cream flavor, Rose? My dad's favorite ice cream flavor, I think it's cookies and cream. Yum. So is that like a creamy color with chocolate chips? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're getting some ideas. I didn't hear, no one has said like strawberry or raspberry or boysenberry. So they're like the pinks and the purples. I love Maybe that. Those, those are my favorite flavors. Well, strawberry. Molly loves those ones. What about also I think of a really lovely flavor that I used to love was the rainbow. From the scoop so that's like yellow me too pink and blue i heard someone say me too so everyone i am up to my ice cream and that's where you're deciding what's the flavor that you want to put on your ice cream i have decided to do like a boysenberry so that's like a purple so i'm going to outline my ice cream swirls um in a dark purple and I think I might even do the middle one like maybe a pink so I'm going to have maybe two different flavors like a pink and a purple and before I color it in I'm just going to make sure I color in I love you dad those letters first I'm going to color those in with markers so that they stand out and I think I'm going to use blue. Okay, now let's check it out. 
with, I can see Levi has finished his background. Well done, Levi. Are you doing the challenge of the second artwork, Levi? Go ahead, because you still have time. I am going to color in my I love you, dad up here. And I am wondering when you guys share what you're going to do on Sunday for Father's Day, maybe you can add something to that. Maybe you could present your dad with your artwork made especially for him. So that means you got to kind of keep it secret until then. Don't even show him after this class. Say it's something you'll see on Sunday. It's kind of secret. And I'm excited to hear if your dad loved your art when you gave them to him. Okay, who's ready for ice cream? You know, when I said, I wanna go grab some ice cream, can you give me a thumbs up? Who else wants to go grab some ice cream? Me. Does everyone wanna grab ice cream? I bet, I don't even blame you. Maybe you guys should ask your parents. Me. Yeah, you guys should put in a request for dessert. Georgie. Okay, go ahead, Rebecca. Um, can I show you mine? Because I actually haven't been putting it up. So, so I, I am going to get everybody actually to show theirs because I haven't had a look at these ice creams coloured in. I so haven't let's actually colored in yet though. So. I want to see on three everyone's and yours. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Can I take a look? Great outlines, Rebecca. Wonderful designs I can see from Charlotte McKenzie Austin. Hey, can I can I just point out Ariel has three ice cream cones on her scooter. And I can see Molly has two. Some great designs from Grace and Lily, Kayla, Michael, Orlando as well. Rosa, I can Rose, I can see yours. And Ramesh. Well done, Hannah and Justin. Okay. Let's keep going. Fantastic work, Faith. I am going to color, 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 color all of my boysenberry ice cream. And we are not far off the background, everybody. So you want to make your way through your ice cream cone so we can get up to the background together. And do we have any other suggestions? of what you guys are going to do on Father's Day. Any other suggestions that are kind of like we haven't heard before? Go ahead, I Rebecca. Do. I do. Um, so um, you, my dad is actually wanting not a kavoodle. He's wanting the sausage, a sausage dog. So you actually posted the sausage dog art. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. So that's one thing I'm doing. Um, we're also going to give him slippers new slippers, like black ones like ours. And I think we're also going to get a mask, like the ones where that makes your skin soft because we're all going to do one ah. on day. So, yeah. That is uh, the most thoughtful collection of gifts. So I really like what Rebecca said. She noticed her dad's favourite dog is a sausage dog and there is an art lesson in the art club with party puppies, I think it's called. So, Yeah. I love that idea of giving him something you've done. Okay, Rose, I can see your hand up. Are you going to share what's your plan for Father's Day? Two of us. Um, my dad is, um, we've got this thing where it's like a calendar, but it's not like a calendar. And then every um, night he gets gin from the thing. He gets something from the calendar? Is it like a Christmas advent calendar? Yeah, except like it leads up to Father's Day. Wow. And then there's there's a special big gift in the middle for on Father's Day. Wow. I love this idea. I'm going to have to try this next year. That sounds really fun. I'd love an advent calendar just for every day to wake up to a present. Okay. I am towards the top of my ice cream scoop. I'm coloring it in. And soon I'm going to ask you to flip yours up so we can go ahead and take a look at this background. But before I do, I am going to colour in his little ice cream that he's holding. So I kind of forgot about that. 
I didn't ask you guys if your ice cream was holding something else. Some of you I saw, they were holding lollipops. Some of you I saw they were holding big chocolate freckles. I'm going to colour mine. I think I need to now that I see I love you, Dad. It needs to be bolder. So I'm actually going to colour that in as well before I do my background. So at this point, you just want to look over your artwork, see if there's any sections that still need colouring. Maybe some need a bit more neater to go over with your markers or make it kind of bolder with your crayons. Take a little look and see if you can add anything. Go ahead. I can see your hand is up. Grace and Lily, go ahead, you two. Um, my one holding a slice of pizza. Yum. And um, my one holding a burger. Okay, burgers and pizzas. So your sweet ice cream is kind of like the savoury junk food. That's a good combination. And was your hand up there, Jack? No, no, my dad's so lucky. Did you tell me that again? You know why my dad's so lucky? Why is he so lucky? Because his birthday was just a few weeks ago. And he gets Father's Day as well. What a lucky dad, I agree with you. He's gonna be showered with gifts. That's special. Okay, I'm finishing off colouring in my DAD and then I'm going to go ahead and look at the background with you guys. Um, I'm just going to put my charger in my computer so that we don't run out of charge. Hey, Ramesh, were you, was your hand up? Do you want to tell me what your dad I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him... Uh, a new property book for 2022. Did you pick that book out yourself? No, we're going to buy it Father's Day and I'm yeah. going to buy it. It's like a kind of property diary. Yeah. 2022. Your dad sounds really smart to need a property book. I think that sounds fabulous. Well done. I should ask him for advice. Okay. So, guys, the last time to show your ice cream cones before we start our background, and if you're not up to painting the background, it's really easy and you can just take a look what we do, but I want you to finish off your ice cream cone first. Let's just take a look at these ice cream cones. <laughs> They're looking super colourful. On three, three, two, one. Where are these ice cream cones? I can see lots of them coloured in. They are looking really crazy and fun, which is exactly what we want. I can see Charlotte, I think, did hers for her grandpa. So she's written best grandpa on hers. Or it might have been Mackenzie. I'm not sure. These are looking fabulous and lots of you are ready to go with the background. So if this is you, follow me. And if you're still coloring in your um, ice cream cone, you keep coloring. You can just kind of listen and hear what we have to say. So I want you to grab a, a yellow crayon. If you're doing the background, I want you to get a yellow crayon. I'm going to use orange so you can see it um, in the video. I might even use blue so you can see it on my screen. Grab your finger and put it right in the middle of the little head of your ice cream cone. This is going to be the middle point for our radial pattern. So this is what I want you to do. Your crayon starts in the middle and I want you to jump over your ice cream and draw a line right out to the side on an angle. So I'm going to do that a little harder so you can see what I did. I want you to start back where your finger is at the middle point, draw an imaginary line, then you can press harder. And I want your lines to be so super light because you're going to paint over them. Mine are darker so you can see it in the video. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm starting in the middle where my finger is and I'm drawing a line 
to the outside of the page and you can see what's happening, we are creating a radial pattern. A radial pattern means that our pattern starts at a center point, okay? So I'm starting in the middle where my finger is, I'm drawing my line to the outside of my page, starting in the middle. I'm obviously jumping over my little ice cream so I don't color him in but I'm just getting where my line strokes need to go, starting in the middle, outside, starting in the middle, to the outside. So you kind of get the idea of the way that I'm going to do my background, if that's what you like to do as well. So once I have that, I have my colors ready. I'm going to choose one color. And I think today, I might do either pink for mine or green. Pink or green for my background. Are you guys ready? If you are, hold your paintbrush up. Let me know if you are painting your background. I can see a few of you are. Now, do you reckon, let's see, Faith, I want to ask you, should I do pink stripes or green stripes in my background? Um, I think green. Okay, <laughs> I got it. I'm going to take your word for it because I love everything that you do, Faith. So here I go. I'm spinning, spinning, spinning around my disc. For me, I know I need like at least 10 spins. Spin, 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 spin. And I'm going to show you how I like to paint these little sections. I think some of you have some different ideas for your background, which is fine. But this one looks really cool too. I'm going to paint straight on top of that crayon line. And then I'm going to paint straight on top of the crayon line from the other side. I'm going to make sure I go around my ice cream scoop super slow and neat. And I've got the outline. Now I can fill it in with really long, beautiful, smooth strokes rather than crazy, crazy little brush strokes all over the place. So that is how I'm going to go about my background. Now I haven't checked in with beautiful Nova Nova, are you up to the background? Um, almost. I just finished doing my ice cream. Um, so I'm just doing the stripes now. Fantastic. And have you got a colour picked out for your background? Um, I think I'm going to do orange because that's Dad's favourite colour. Yeah, that's good. Something bright and happy to make sure the focus is on your beautiful ice cream in the middle. Sounds really good. Okay, I can see crew, your hand was up, Coco and crew. Did you want to let me know something? You can unmute yourself. So my mom's birthday is nearly coming. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow and it's, and it's nearly Father's Day. So you said your mum's birthday is tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Have you got something ready to give your mom? Yes. yes. What is it? Or is it a secret? It's, it's, a secret. it's, one, of, it's one of these ice creams. I think that sounds good. I was about to say, maybe you could change it up and give it to your mom instead of your dad or, or draw something else for your mom. So I reckon when moms and dads get art from their kids, two things. They love it because you did it and no one else can do it like you. And they also love it because you show off how talented you are. And that is a really nice thing to see when you have kids. Hey, I'm just looking at Tabby's background. Tabby did rainbow stripes. Well done, Tabby. I think it's really nice. We can all jump on Zoom together, do an artwork. Follow the same process, but all come up with different um, outcomes and different ideas. So I'm really enjoying seeing some other little details and tricks that you guys add to your pieces. So I'm just going ahead with my painting. I find this one the really relaxing part because I'm right at the end of my project and I'm just taking my time with some really smooth brush strokes. Now, I want to check in with Hannah and Justin. You two tell me which part of the project you are up to right now.
You nearly unmuted yourself. You can unmute your, yeah, go ahead. There you go. I'm doing the background. And Hannah, what color have you decided for your background? Yellow. And did you do stripes like me or something different? Stripes. Okay, let's see what, what did Justin do? Go ahead, tell me, Justin. What color did you use for your background? He hasn't started his background. Okay. Do you want to do maybe green? You've got some ideas now, Justin, because Hannah's done yellow. I've done green. I saw some rainbow backgrounds. So you've got heaps of ideas. To I did green. Someone else did green. Now let's go ahead. I can see some people are towards the end of their project. And I am going to show you guys if you were wanting to do another Father's Day themed project, I am on Zoom tomorrow as well. So I'm going to show you um, what we are going to do tomorrow. You might want to go ahead and join our cool kookaburra, but I'm just going to work my way around my little ice cream before I show you that. I'm joining the cool kookaburra. Oh, Morley is coming. Yeah, I know. You're coming to the cool kookaburra. A few of you I, are. I, I'm coming to the Ramesh is <laughs> That's fantastic. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek and you can kind of start thinking about the colors you might want to use. So I've got a couple of sections left for my painting. Now, Abby and Georgia, you guys are working so well. You're so busy painting. Do you want to tell me which section you are up to and what colors you're using right now? I'm doing the background and I'm using purple. Purple. And do you know what? I think I can see lots of different colors on your background. Is that right? Wow. Rainbow is a great choice. It takes a little longer, but I'm so glad you chose that. Well done. I can't wait to see it. In a moment, everybody is going to hold theirs up. But I'm just going to give you a few more minutes because oh, I'm up to my last little stripe. I and I have a question. I have a question for you. Remember my ice cream without my background? Give me a thumbs up. Do you think it looks better? and draws focus to my ice cream with the background. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Does it look better? Does it draw focus to my ice cream with a background? You can see lots of thumbs up. I think the reason is our lines are going from the outside and they're going straight in to the middle of my ice cream. So that means my eye is drawn in to my ice cream, which makes it stand out and makes it like better I think it's a better picture with the background in so I'm glad you saw that distinction now I'm gonna grab here it is this is our art lesson tomorrow if you guys want to go ahead and join this is the creation we are doing a cool kookaburra he's wearing a number one dad medallion so that's our project tomorrow you guys can find that on uh, the email or on the website if you want to join tomorrow at four o'clock. I know some of you are already. I am excited to see the final ice creams. Are you ready? We have come to the end of the lesson yes. and this is the best part. I get to see your amazing artworks that are all individual. Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Where are they? Ice creams, can everybody else look in the screen too? Make sure you're taking a look at every single screen right now. I can see rainbow backgrounds. I can see blue stripes on an angle from Rose. Well done for some blue stripes from Coco as well. Really beautiful rainbows from Abby and Georgia and Jack. The Thank yellow you. makes your stand out. They're actually green stripes. Green from Coco. Okay. Red from K Kayla. Grace and Lily did. I need to do an outline. Cool. Ariel has done a beautiful, yeah. neat job with her ice cream tower. <laughs> did I miss anyone? I've seen Grace and Lily's. Lando's are standing out. 
Well done. I saw a sneak peek of Charlotte McKenzie in Austin, which is all super neat. And you Austin. guys are still creating they're together, they're but they're all different. different. Well done. Uh, Charlotte, let's see yours, Grace and Lily. Go ahead, um, Lily. Or go ahead, Grace, sorry. I actually have the exact same paint set as you, and I accidentally used the same color as you. I um, am a little bit obsessed.